Hi, welcome back. I've booted and for the tutorials reasons I have um, no dual monitor at this moment, so you see it better. But um, the advantage of i3 is that you can put your screens, like you see here your workspaces 1, 2, 8 and 10. So 1 to 5 comes on one terminal, on one uh, monitor and the other one goes on the other. So we have two screens and you can divide them. So all programs, everything works, as you can see. Um, due to my personal settings, I've copy pasted. I have a nice system. The colors are uh, beautiful. Of course, you need to have an, uh, oh, you see the, the red lines, which is okay. So we know already something happened here. Um, well, it's not my intention to keep it red, but um, it was a way to anal analyze uh, how it uh, works and what, what happens. So what did I do? Let's go to i3 and I copy paste it. Remember the part from uh, the configuration file from Linux Mint uh, made it was. So Compton Conf, when you double click, nothing happens. Sure. I told him to go to workspace 2. So in, in here, it says shadow red. So it was my idea to figure out how Compton works on the mates and we just can rename them, the files, and then it works. So when I'll control S this and the Windows Shift exit, I should really exit this thing and uh, check again to see if the red, error, the red shadow is gone. Let's see if we can Voila, it's still red here as you can see. So all my shadows are red and my wallpaper is here. I can press enter, so Windows enter and we have our new terminal, which I still have to pimp as you can see. Preferences are still not the way I want, but it doesn't matter. It's just uh, to show you that we can copy paste the Compton, Compton com file to i3 and change it again. And uh, make the shadow not red so that's the only strange thing you have here and all the rest of my code is the way I want it okay so um, this is um, an update on February 2017 i3 can be installed on any of our Linux Mint distributions follow the scripts and enjoy i3